boys and girls, it's Miss Janie again. And today we're gonna have a lesson about Jesus and the water. Now, Jesus, you know, when he went from town to town and he talked to crowds and crowds and crowds of people, and sometimes Jesus got so tired and sometimes he'd take a little rest. Well, this was one of those days and all of his disciples that followed him every day, Jesus decided that they needed to go to the other side of the lake and wait on him. So they got in a boat, and there they were. They were going to the other side of the water to wait on Jesus. Now, Jesus, while they were going to the other side of the lake, Jesus went up on the mountain to pray because, yes, even though Jesus was God's son, Jesus needed to talk to his father, and he talked to him all the time. Do you talk to your father every day? Do you talk to your mother every day? Well, that's a great thing, isn't it, to have them there to talk to. But the most important thing is, do you talk to God every day? Well, Jesus did, and God was his father. Well, Jesus decided it was about time to go with the disciples. Well, when Jesus started across the water, big storm clouds came up. Big storm clouds. And there were the disciples out in there, and you know they were afraid. Well, the sky got dark and big storm clouds came up. And Jesus thought, well, I'll just walk out there to them. Yes, I said Jesus would walk to them. And Jesus started out walking on the water. Jesus walked right across those waves. And the, the men, his disciples in the boat, looked up and they said, What is that? Do you see that? That looks like somebody walking. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. No, no. Jesus hollered out, called out to them, and he said, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's I. Be of good cheer. Be happy. I'm on my way. And there was Peter in the boat. Now, you know, sometimes Peter had a lot to say about a lot of things. And Peter said, God, he said, Jesus, if that's you, let me just walk right out there to you. And you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, come on, Peter. Just come on. Step out of that boat. So Peter stepped out of the boat. And you know what? He took about two steps, and you know what Peter did? Peter took his eyes off Jesus. And Peter looked down at his own feet, looking at his own self to see what he could do. And Peter started sinking right in the waves. And he said, Lord, help me. Help me, I'm going to die. And so Jesus went over to Peter. And he pulled Peter right up out of that water. And then Jesus went on over to the boat. And got in with the disciples. And they went to the other side. But look what happened to Peter. Peter took his eyes off Jesus. Oh, that's a sad thing when we take our eyes off Jesus, when we don't pray like we should, when we don't attend services like we should. I know right now we can't uh, attend services together except over the airwaves. But the thing of it is, when you could go to church, did you go all the time? Well, you're at home, do you pray every day? Do you study God's word? Jesus said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because I am with you. And I'll take care of you. Boys and girls, Jesus takes care of us every day. He meets our needs. Doesn't always give us our wants. But he gives us our needs. Because he loves us more than anything. God made you special. There's nobody else in the world like you. Nobody. 
Nobody's got the same fingerprint you do. Nobody's like you at all. Jesus said he loves you. And Jesus said, like he said to Peter, be of good cheer, for I'm here. Jesus takes care of us, and he loves you so much. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.